Okay, so um, this is basically duct taped together, but I was just watching this video called Motion Extraction, or Mo Extracting Motion, I think? Motion Extraction by Posey, right? And um, he details how you can apply a filter to a second like video layer and m extract motion out of it. And it was fascinating to me. Uh, you should watch the video. Um, but I left the video and I stood there for about 15 seconds just saying, I can do that right now in OBS. I can do that in OBS. I can do that in OBS. I can do that in OBS. Um, so here I am doing it in OBS. Um, I actually did get it, uh, get it working. So we'll have this ready and um, this to just ignore how messy this is. I'm sorry. I'm getting into streaming. I don't know how this program works, but um, it's, yeah. So here we have a couple different um, setup uh, scenes, right? And I just use those scenes to add together into the motion detection scene. Um, so if we hit play, you're going to see the motion. Um, right now I can um, show you the filters that I'm using, right? So this is an LET um, filter. So yeah, if you go to add, you apply LET, and then you use your invert. There's an invert PNG in the um, the folder there. You invert it, and that's just going to filter the inversion. Um, and then you delay this, but also you go into blending mode. Instead of transparency, you use blending mode add for the one on top, right? So this has nothing, this one has nothing um, different about it um, than the actual capture. Um, right, okay. So anyways, I actually don't think I need two of these, regardless. Um Let's turn down the uh, delay here. We'll go to 100. We'll see how crisp the, um, the, the blades of grass get. It's, uh, it's just so neat. Look at that. Ugh. Just look at that. Look at that. Uh, yeah, let's just go into the... Uh, yeah. How's that? Ugh. Oh, my God. Just so beautiful. Now... The thing that I'm doing here is I'm just um I'm just running like a YouTube video and I'm just running that YouTube video and capturing it and doing the filter all within OBS. Um there's no like I don't know. It's it's crazy to me that you can just like live stream video and uh, live edit it with these kinds of effects. Um, yeah, I don't know. Just wanted to, just wanted to share. I think it's so cool. I just think it's so cool. And there's a lot of things that you can use this for. If you start using other filters or like effect uh, techniques in within OBS, which um, I'm really should be getting into because it seems so interesting. Anyways, uh, thanks for checking this out. Bye.